I just went through this entire video explaining everything I'm about to explain, only to find out that it didn't record my mic. So I gotta do this whole video over again explaining everything I just went through, and it's a lot. Uh, two things worth mentioning off the bat. Lights accidentally fell down on the shelf. They'll be back the next episode. Uh, don't worry about it. Also, my throat is a bit raspy because I was screaming a lot at a minigame in a fan game. You'll see that video soon. It's Freddy Files Chapter 2. It took, like, nearly three hours to record, so hopefully that'll be out pretty soon. Yeah, as I said earlier, there's a lot to go through, and I don't have much time. I'm gonna try to go um, through it all in full detail, but I... God, I'm just so annoyed I didn't record the first time. So, let's just jump into the facts. We got a new update on the FNAF AR situation. And, oh boy, it's only been two days and we already have loads of information. So, again, let's just jump into it, guys. First things first, the other day, the FNAFAR.com website changed to read this. Quote, what game do you think you are playing? Unquote. Now, veterans of FNAF, or I guess just FNAF fans in general, should know exactly where this line originated from. That being, of course, on July 13th, 2015, Scott Cawthon released the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 trailer, and approximately 14 minutes, uh, 14 seconds into the trailer, we get this line. What game do you think you are playing? A direct parallel from the AR game to FNAF 4, Ward for Ward. Now, I personally think that they are either going to be referencing each other on multiple occasions, it's going to take place within this FNAF 4 um, time period during like the 83s and you know around those years, or it's going to be influenced on FNAF 4 if that makes sense. They're going to be um, just connected in some way, and we have more evidence of that. So the account that posted the trailer that, again, we don't know if it's official or not, um, has changed their description, and now reads, shush. Uh, we're getting closer, 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 Urgh. I'm watching you. I can hear you breathing. This will be fun. I can hear you breathing is another quote from another FNAF game, this time it being Sister Location. But Laura says to you, I think it's either when you're entering um, her gallery or when you're exiting, I think it's when you're exiting, but she does tell you, quote, I can hear you breathing. I could hear you breathing. So she says that to you at some point during Sister Location. I can't remember exactly when, but we know from the Boiler Room minigame with Funtime Freddy that the Sis Location location and the FNAF 4 house are linked in some way. They're connected through like some secret underground tunnel, uh, through like a hatch in Henry's garage or something from the, uh, from the Silver Eyes, but they are linked in some way. So there's another parallel. I'm watching you also just so happens to be the, um, the sentence for today's daily update for the FNAFAR.com. I'm watching you. Um, all I can think of right now is just the link between the description for the Reddit uh, profile and then this here. I'm not entirely sure what it could mean, but, you know, you guys can always speculate in the comments, you know, see whatever ideas you guys have on this whole situation, feel free to leave in the comments below. I'm sure we can, um, you know, bounce ideas off each other. And that's really why I'm here just to give off information and then give off my opinion on what they could mean. Another god dang YouTube account has been found. This time it's called Looking Glass AR Backwards and its banner actually reads reddit.com forward slash user uh, Looking Glass Backwards and then keep an eye on that Reddit account. I highly re recommend you do exactly that. And this channel only has one video and it's titled FNAF AR Coming Soon Whip Video. So, not only is it called Coming Soon, therefore we should expect to see it fairly soon, it's also a Whip Video. Um, I'm not entirely sure what Whip means, but basically, as far as I can guess, uh, based on the cupcake model and from stuff that I've seen on the subreddit, I believe it's something, it's like a progression over time, so like you start with something here, and it's the whip of something, 
and then you continue walking on it and then it's the finished um, version. Uh, again, I'm not entirely sure what it means, but here you can see the cupcake is not entirely finished. Um, uh, I guess it's done rendering, but it's still, you know, not what it looks like in the final official trailer. So this trailer is also very slightly different. Not only the cupcake, but also uh, what it presents. It, uh, it shows a bit more static and then it does something really, really helpful later on. So let's just watch it. You can see a lot more staticky. And then the most important thing happens right about now. The Torador March plays Freddy's signature tune, therefore confirming that this is in fact Freddy and not Fredbear that some people are assuming. A lot more static uh, we get Freddy's laugh, which furthermore confirms that this is Freddy, and then the 10-2019. Now some people are saying that you can hear Fredbear's laugh, I can kind of hear it, I'm not entirely sure if it is Fredbear, but have a listen. Listen. Did you hear it? I can kind of hear something that sounds like a deep laugh, but again, it's pretty difficult to hear. That also might just be a distorting sound effect. I'm not entirely sure, honestly. This account that has the whip video actually replied to one comment asking, um, so this was the in unfinished version um, referring to this because we can see the cupcake isn't fully done and it's just slightly different from the um, official trailer. Again, we don't know if it's official or not. And they said, I assure you, both are very real. This is a quote that Fredbear says in Ultimate Custom Night. Now, there's a lot of ways we can go with this. Nightmare Fredbear says this, therefore bringing another parallel back to FNAF 4 because that's, you know, where he originated from. Um, but also, again, the quote-unquote Fredbear laugh at the end could also be a reference to that, but it is referencing another game that technically also has FNAF 4 and Sustication things in it, but it also has all the other games in it, so it kind of just connects to everything, so it, it's a nice little easter egg, I guess. <laughs> and this is basically all of the sources that I have. I'll try to link as many as I can down below. I'm gonna quickly refresh this page, see if it is updated, because again, it updates basically daily. Um, and that's the final point I want to make. Some people, such as B Don 19 or B Don 19. I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce that, but um, they have been super helpful um, informing me of the changes that are happening to FNAFAR.com, and that's really really helpful. If you do um, leave a comment saying that the words have changed, it does help me out. But I also want to emphasize the fact that I am checking this constantly, multiple occasions every single day because it is changing daily it's changing literally every single day um let's see today's the 10th so on the 8th it had the uh what game do you think you were playing it and oh wait no yeah and then on the 9th it had oops uh, i'm watching you so at some point tonight probably the second this video goes live and everyone's gonna be just like oh, it's changed again it's not my fault okay i'm recording this at 6 44 p.m and let me just refresh quickly one last time. And yeah, well, good. So I am constantly checking this page, so you guys don't have to inform me, but if you want to, feel free to. Um, yeah, if you guys have any ideas on what any of this information can mean, I gave my opinion. I do think the AR game is going to be linked to FNAF 4, Sister Location, and most likely all the other games as well at some point. We'll probably get more references to the other ones um, at some point in the future, but I do think um, FNAF 4 and Sys Location will have a pretty big impact on this game. And I actually saw someone, oh shoot, where is it? Hold on, let me find it. I'm sorry guys. Okay, I found it. Um, this kind of relates back to what I was talking about with the FNAF 4 thing. Um, this text flare is sponsored by Wacky Wart Paste. Um, Tiger Bear 991. I think I'll go with Tiger Bear. <laughs> the wacky ward paste. I would love to get a sponsor. Um, they talked about, oh, what if you have to use your phone as a flashlight? Haven't played many AR games, so I don't know if that would be possible. I don't know if that's possible either, 
but it is an interesting um, idea because it again relates back to FNAF 4 where you are obviously using the flashlight so I do think it comes perfectly full circle but again I'm sure this is going to reference all the other games but for right now it seems like this location and FNAF 4 are the prominent ones. It's super difficult to track every single update about this situation. Really the main thing I want to give you guys information about is the text that appears on FNAFAR.com. It's going to be linked down below, so it's probably good. it's most likely going to be updated tonight, so you can go check that out. But it updates basically every single day as far as I know, so... Oh boy, that's going to be a lot of update videos. <laughs> I think I'll do it like this every other day which with my current schedule is just every video but i don't want to spam you guys with updates on the ar situation because i have other videos i want to get out i have other fan games i want to play so how i'm going to format these videos exactly i don't know but we're just going to go with the flow and see what happens so thank you everyone so much for watching uh again if you have any ideas on what any of this could mean feel free to leave them in the comments Thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. <sighs> Goodbye.